the moment you involve new technologies and new protocols for providing a service to the users, you're just giving more opportunities to an adversary to exploit something or even to prevent the service to be provided. That just brings up new challenges you couldn't even imagine before. An adversary can, for example, do two things. First of all, they can read uh, the content of exchange messages that at least has uh, privacy implications, but it can be even worse if that's about very sensitive or confidential data that you want to keep confidential. If you don't have good or good enough security protocols enforcing secure communication, access control and the like, it can have catastrophic consequences for a control system where uh, someone that is not entitled to or, or supposed to can, can even control a system. To enforce some kind of access control, you want that only you and other trusted people would access those devices. You may want even more fine-grained access control. Uh, perhaps you want kids to be able to turn on the light but not to open locks on the doors. So you really want to build solutions and protocols that are specialized for a certain goal, but at the same time fulfill those properties. You really want that the messages that the devices exchange between themselves are confidential and intact. My research in cybersecurity is specifically on security protocols. It is an attempt to apply traditional, but on the other end, pretty new concepts for securing the Internet of Things in particular. You need something also affordable for these constrained devices. RISE has a big role in all this, and it is very committed in, in cybersecurity. I think especially on standardization, RISE has a successful track record and is very much involved in standardizing security protocols, especially for the IoT. I think it is really important that especially security today relies on using open security standards. That ensures consensus and in turn ensures interoperability between different vendors using that same solution. When one tries to think if we can prevent security problems altogether and, and be totally secure forever, well, philosophically, that is just not possible. That's okay, because practically we can provide good enough practical security. This is getting more and more difficult and challenging as time goes on, but it is practically possible, and I think it is very important to rely on open standards for that.